Hello everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your cnft.io account and what wallets to use so you can buy and sell NFTs. I'm also going to be showing you that as well. So the first thing you want to do is go into the website. I'm already logged in right now so I'm going to log out just to show you every step. The website was down for a little while so and now it's back up so we're actually able to do something. So uh, once you're here uh, you want to create a new account. And you want to put your username, email, password, and you know the usual stuff. And once you receive the email, confirm that. After that, you will simply just log in. And once we're here, the first thing you want to do is go to wallets. Now I actually have two wallets right here, right here. So uh, when you start, you won't have anything here. So the first thing you want to do is add a wallet. Okay. So the first thing it tells you a payment amount. Okay, and it gives you an address. So basically, once you create a wallet, the wallet I'm gonna be using today is gonna is called Nami Wallet. So basically, it tells you the exact amount ADA that you need to send to the address, and there's a certain uh, timer that you need to send the money in, the, in that the certain period of time. Once it's complete, you will get your money back. So in this case, I have to send 2.4 ADA. Actually, just to be specific, send exact the amount that's uh, written right here otherwise uh, it won't actually get through uh, do not send money from any other exchange only send ADA from a supported wallet Euroi Adelite but I'm gonna be using today NAMI which is actually the simplest one so before we actually connect to NAMI you actually actually have to make an account okay so the website is called namiwallet.io uh, you can download it's available in Chrome, Brave and Edge so I downloaded it on Chrome after you install it, I'm actually gonna show you right away. So, I already have it installed, but it should show here install in Chrome. After that's done, you will have your NAMI wallet, NAMI wallet right here. And all you have to do is create an account here, and it'll give you a 12 uh, password, 12 digit password that you have to save uh, just for security purposes. Now, once that's done, you're gonna go back to CNFT. And you're gonna connect your NAMI wallet. Okay, so it's gonna ask you to do, log in, type your password, confirm. See, so it says a wallet error. That's because I already have the wallet uh, already connected. Okay, so example, if I uh, if I wanted to send money to my wallet, uh, I go add wallet. You basically go to uh, your NAMI wallet and you're gonna press send okay so you will press send right here you're gonna add the address from here so I'm just gonna copy it I'm gonna open this again you'll paste the address right here and the ADA amount 2.5 I'm not going to do it of course because I already set up my account okay but that's how you would do it and then we close that after that basically your wallet will be uh, place right here okay so you'll have your wallet now how to buy an nft and how to sell an nft okay so we're gonna go to my live listings right here yeah actually we're gonna go to inventory first okay so these are all the nfts that i have on my cnft.io and you can see some chibi dangos rankings uh, i currently have two listed right now so let's say we wanted to sell the detox world okay so we will press right here and we press sell token okay so you press sell token and you can add whatever pro whatever ADA you want to sell it to I'm gonna send I'm gonna put a crazy amount because I actually don't want to sell it yet so let's say 4,000 ADA you know reasonable price so we press confirm sale and you'll see that is already listed so if we actually went to marketplace technically should show up right here there you go 4,000 ADA you know cheap enough cheap enough so you can see right there obviously you know more people are always posting so your uh, your NFT just keeps going down 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 um, but yeah that's basically it once that's bought you'll get a notification and you can actually take the money out from there um, it's very very simple stuff guys um, now keep in mind that when you go into the website sometimes it takes a little while to actually load the inventory now it's a bit faster but before it took ages so i'm not sure if it varies depending on your connection but anyway 
Uh, once you do that, you should see it on your live listings right here. So these are my current uh, uh, NFTs I'm currently selling at. Okay. Now let's say you want to buy. Pretty much the same process. You go to marketplace. Uh, let's look at this guy. Six thousand. That's mental. Uh, let's just press it anyway for the fun. So let's say we want to buy that one. Uh, you just buy, press buy right here. Right here. So send the exact display ADA uh, amount to the address uh, provided. Uh, use the copy button. Make sure you use that in case you might miss a little letter or anything like that. So just be careful with that. And please ensure your payment is complete before the timer ends. Basically, it's the same process as when you actually set up your wallet. Okay. So that's the address, and then you uh, you can cancel if you want. You can send the asset. And this transaction is now complete. Buyer, you will basically you will see your brand new NFT in your wallet once you actually buy the NFT. So you basically just have to follow this right here, which is very very simple. Okay. Now the, you can use different wallets. Uh, I'm gonna cover that in another video actually. But the other wallet that you can use is Euroy. So if you go right here, you'll see Euroy. Uh, the reason why I'm not covering this one today because you know, I actually have it set it up on my uh, phone, and I think having it set up on your phone is much easier than having to go on your uh, desktop. But it is basically the same thing as your Rami wallet. You know, you create an account. If you want to send money um, or set up your your wallet and see NFT, basically you have to send the right amount of ADA to the exact address that you're provided, and that's basically it, guys. So yeah guys, I hope you like this video. Um, just make sure that you always send the right amount of ADA. I actually had that issue when I was actually buying an NFT. Uh, when I was trying to mint one. I didn't send the right exact amount and I got the money refunded or it simply just didn't go through. So just keep that in mind, always copy from here. Okay guys, anyway, I hope you like this video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.